I listened to Justin's live tonight and I had to speak out about this. Um, Justin is still continuing to take cheap shots at Frankie Jr. And Justin, please don't do this anymore. There's just no need for it. You don't need to be smug. You don't need to take cheap shots at Frankie Jr.'s manhood, um, talking about his swimmers, um, saying that he's got a problem in that department. Stop pretending that you care about his happiness because we all know that you don't. We all know that you don't like him. And stop pretending that you stop pretending that you want me and Frankie to get on because you've been trying to get me out of the Shiner cult for a long time. And now you've gotten what you wanted and you're still taking cheap shots at Frankie. Please, sweetie, I'm begging you, just let it be. Enough pain has been caused. You don't need to take any more cheap shots at Frankie. You don't need to take cheap shot as, shots at his manhood. The family have been through enough. And even though, you know, I've been more objective and, you know, said things that I wasn't saying, you know, necessarily saying in the beginning or, you know, I've, I'm, I've come to more to your side of thinking. That doesn't mean to say that I want Frankie to be bullied and belittled and, you know, it, there just is no need to take cheap shots at Frankie's manhood and say that he's got a medical problem. You don't know anything about him. You know, saying he's got a medical problem in that department, saying saying things like you want us to be, um, you know, you, you don't even you don't even care about Frankie's happiness. That That's a lie. Um, and you've been trying to get me away from the Shiner cult for a long time. And I'm going to read your community post in a minute. Please don't take any more cheap shots at Frankie, Justin. You don't need to do this. We've been getting along so well. You don't need to take cheap shots at Frankie. Please just let it be. I'm begging you. Worried about the size of their manhood. And they'll go to extravagant weeks to at least have the reputation if they don't actually have the big one. Now, I can't say for a fact, but what I will say is I've heard rumors. There's a picture circulating all over the Internet of Junior passed out with a pump right beside him. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's embarrassing. I couldn't imagine needing a pump at 30 years old. But maybe there's some things going wrong with Junior, and that's why he can't get a woman pregnant. And, you know, if you ever watch this, Junior, God bless you, bro, for real. Like, we all have insecurities, and I know you're misdirecting your anger at me and other creators. But I did not make your manhood what it is stop using other issues to be angry and talk about what's really bothering you you know justin is so happy that he has me more on his side that's what he's wanted for a while for me to move more to his side of the fence to be closer to me um to be free from control of the other side, which I never was under the control of the other side, but let me just read his community post. If you thought Simcast was a full-blown shiner, think again. While we disagree regularly, she makes some good points in this video. She's getting huge backlash from the R community simply for befriending me. Instead of continuing to appease her community, she has remained loyal to me and risked her status in her community. Loyalty is the number one thing for Justin. And he wants my loyalty. And for now, I'm gonna be try, I'm gonna try and be as loyal to him as I possibly can and see where it takes me. If it takes me down a dark path and I end up making a huge mistake, that's my mistake to learn from. And a lot of people are going to think, oh, he's manipulative and all that kind of stuff. Yes, he does have manipulative qualities. But I choose to remain loyal to him for now.
and it ends up being a mistake, that's my mistake to take responsibility of. 